differentiation, finding maximums and minimums. We can find if it is a maximum or minimum using different methods. Method one, consider around the point. So for the example y equals x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x plus 1, if we differentiate it we get three lots of x minus 1, x minus 3 from what we did last time. So we can make up a table of x, not 1, 2, dy by dx and the slope. So dy by dx, we're just plugging our x values in to our gradient function. So if we plug in 0, we get 3 times minus 1 times minus 3, we get 9. Plug in 1, that's the solution, so we get nothing. If we plug in 2, we get 3 times 1 times minus 1, so that's minus 3. So we can consider the slopes of these. First one's positive, then it's zero, and then it's negative. If you look at that picture, that's going to be a maximum, because it's got that maximum curve. We'll do the same for the other stationary point we're interested in, three, so we'll look either side of it, two and four. dy by dx and the slope, dy by dx for the two, we've already worked out as minus three. The three, we know it's going to be zero. The four is going to be three times three times one, so it's going to be nine. So here the slope goes down, flat, and up. So if you look at that, that's a minimum. It's got that kind of well shape. Now that method's good, but you don't know how far on either side to take it. You should really take it a very small distance on either side. So there's a better method, a method that's slightly more mathematical. What we do is we find d2y by dx squared. Now d2y by dx squared is going to be negative for a maximum and it's going to be positive for a minimum. So that's the rate of change of your gradient. If your rate of change for your gradient is negative, then your gradient's getting less and less and less. So if you think about your picture, that's going to give you a maximum. Whereas if your gradient's getting more and more and more, that's going to give you a minimum. So we'll have a look at the same example. y equals x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x plus 1. Differentiate it, we've got 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. The second derivative of it is going to give us 6x minus 12. Now our two solutions are x equals 1. d squared y by dx squared is minus 6. That's negative, so it's a maximum. At our other point, x is 3. The second derivative is going to be 6, which is positive, so therefore it's a minimum. We'll have a look at a quick example. Find the stationary point of the curve y equals 3 plus 2x minus x squared and determine its nature. If you think about that, that's a negative quadratic. Negative quadratic is a sad quadratic, so it's going to have to have a maximum. But we'll see how the maths works on this. dy by dx is 2 minus 2x. That's 0 at the stationary point, so x is 1. If x is 1, plug it back into the original equation y equals 3 plus 2 minus 1, so y is 4, so our stationary point is at the point 1, 4. Second derivative of that is just going to be minus 2. It doesn't matter what my x value is, the second derivative is always minus 2, because it's a sad quadratic, it's always going to give you a negative. So the second derivative is minus 2, that's negative, so therefore it's a maximum point. Thank you.